protecting your accounts using a VPN or VPS. What's up fellow dropshippers out there? Have you experienced the most annoying thing eBay does? Closing an account? I'm sure many of you have. That's why I created this video. There are some options to prevent your account from being closed and those options names are first VPN, second VPS. I will reveal how I keep all of my data and accounts secure the best possible way. Might take some effort to set everything up, but the protection works it for sure. Sometimes, you know, it's a game of hide and seek with eBay. So stay up until the end of this video to learn how to win this game forever. And speaking of winning a game, have you tried TrackerBot already? The best automating tool for dropshippers, which tracks all of your orders, converts unaccepted tracking numbers, calculates taxes and margins automatically and saves you hours of hard labor each week. Yes, you've heard me right. You get all this. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and use the link below in the description and get a 50% off for the first month. Now, I've already mentioned two abbreviations, VPN and VPS. If you haven't heard them, let's clarify what they do stand for. First, VPN. It stands for Virtual Private Network. And the whole idea is to encrypt your data and hide or mask your IP. You know, every computer has its own IP address and it's basically the name of the computer for other servers, uh, sites, etc. The way a VPN works is actually changing your IP address so that others can't access your true location, PC and data. And this is a very valuable option, especially for us dropshippers. There are many reasons why you should use a VPN. To have the same IP address independent from your location or device, to hide your uh, true location from eBay, to not raise suspicion in case you catch another Wi-Fi connection. For example, if you change your work or workplace or, or go abroad. And if you're an international seller, to pretend that you are actually inside of the United States. That's very necessary for international dropshippers because otherwise they can't access a lot of sites. For example, Home Depot. Another great option is that you can use many different VPNs to use coupons or vouchers from different suppliers. Of course, the suppliers are not that stupid and don't allow one person or account to use many gift vouchers or discount coupons multiple times. But if you change your VPNs every time, you can simply do it. Second thing, VPS. VPS means virtual private server. And that's actually a whole new virtual computer you borrow. You can log in this new computer through yours quite easily and work without any concerns. This way you not only hide your PC's IP, you use a completely different one each time. So you can access your accounts through the same computer without your location, uh, internet connection or device having any importance. Using a VPS is the most secure way not to be mistrusted by eBay or other sites, suppliers and PayPal. And now you know what VPN and VPS mean. When and how should you use them? First of all, in many of my videos, I have recommended you to have multiple eBay accounts. Since eBay is unpredictable and closing accounts with, with or without a reason is quite a big problem, diversifying your dropshipping business with multiple accounts is a must for every serious dropshipper. But opening different accounts from the same computer and network is a no-no. eBay can actually track you down and find out easily that you have multiple accounts. In case they do find out, most probably they will close all of them at the same time and ruin all your hard work. And that's why you should use at least, at least 
a separate VPN for each account. That means that every account has its own private IP. But if you follow our tactics at the TrackerBot team, we prefer even more safety. For each eBay and PayPal account we have, a separate VPS, virtual private server. I explained it uh, previously, right? That means that each time I and my colleagues decide to open some of our numerous accounts, we look through its private virtual private server. That's the biggest insurance that eBay won't raise any suspicion against our accounts. By the way, even if you don't have so many accounts, but don't use a VPN or a VPS for just one of them, even a friend with an eBay visiting your house as a guest and connecting to the Wi-Fi could cause the same troubles. So definitely hide your IPs with VPN or VPS. There are also other ridiculous situations when accounts get banned and the use of VPN or VPS is necessary. Like traveling abroad, for example. Doesn't make much sense to me, but if you log into just one account through the same PC while you're on a trip abroad, the chances are that eBay will detect and eventually they will block your account. Yes, <laughs> sounds completely bollocks, but that's the reality. And using a simple free VPN solves this problem. The same is valid if you use virtual assistants. You already got the idea, so someone logging from Asia, for example, is not a good idea at all. Even more crazy is the story with the dynamic IPs. There is this thing called dynamic IPs when you get a new IP from time to time from your internet provider. You don't even realize it when they change your IP. And sometimes you get an IP of some other eBay seller. Bam! Your account gets banned. You're already convinced that using a VPN or VPS is a must, aren't you? I will very soon explain how I use all VPS and VPNs for my accounts. But logging to eBay tens of times a day can also become a problem, even with a VPN or VPS. One very smart way to reduce the number of visits to eBay, but still control your account, orders and cases, is TrackerBot. Through TrackerBot you have many processes automated so that you don't need to log into eBay that often. TrackerBot scans your eBay account automatically which doesn't count as a login because it's completely integrated with eBay. This way you still control your business but reduce significantly the chances to raise suspicion and get a ban. Wow! Try it out by subscribing through the link below and get the discount of 50% off only if you become a subscriber to my channel. Now the promised part. How do I use VPNs and VPS? Actually, for every buyer account, you know that you should have separate buyer accounts for the suppliers like eBay accounts, right? Probably I'll do a separate video for this very soon. But yes, for Amazon, Walmart and Home Depot, I have also many different buyer accounts. In order to keep those accounts on track, I have a separate VPN for each one. VPN is quite enough for the buyer accounts. They can be opened more easily than an eBay seller account. That's why you don't need a whole VPS for them and you will save money. But for each eBay account, I have a separate VPS with a separate Windows login for every single one. Don't mix them. I have the eBay account on my desktop just to be sure that I don't make a mistake and log with other credentials through the same window. Might sound as an overprotection, but being overprotected doesn't harm you in any way. Just the opposite. Yes, to have sustainable and secure VPNs and VPS, you should pay extra money each month. The free versions are not reliable enough. But this money buys you security. Security that no account will be blocked simply because your accounts were linked. 
If you want to stay in the game and scale up, hiding your real IP and masking your accounts is the only option. Don't hesitate to invest some dollars in buying enough VPNs and VPS. You'll thank me later. That's all for now. Those proven dropshipping techniques I'm telling you here are based on the expertise of serious dropshippers from the TrackerBot team. And we give them for free. You can express your gratitude by subscribing to TrackerBot, the dropshipping tool created by professionals for professionals. And once you start, there is no way back. Dropshipping becomes so much easier. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, use the link below to subscribe to TrackerBot with a discount, like and share. And many of you know that I answer all dropshipping related questions in the comments. Don't hesitate to ask them.